Nano Banana has been everywhere recently and for good reason. It's the nickname for Google's new text to image model, Gemini 2.5 Flash Image. It's really flexible. It can create images, edit images, and combine images all under one model. And it's pretty shocking how faithful it is at maintaining objects between edits. Today, we're gonna to show you how to make videos using Nano Banana. We'll use Nano Banana as the base layer that generates our initial image, and then we'll use Stability AI's image to video model in order to turn that into an animated video, yielding some admittedly sometimes creepy results. We'll be using this AI ML Bootstrap repository, which we recently added Nano Banana support to. It has a few different projects in it, but the one we're interested in is this GIF creator. We're gonna need a GPU to run the image to video model, and for that, we'll be using DigitalOcean GPU droplets. So first things first, let's get our GPU droplet set up. Sign up for a DigitalOcean account if you don't already have one. Next, go to GPU droplets, and then click Create GPU droplet. Scroll down and choose the AI ML Ready operating system. This will come with GPU drivers pre-installed. And then we can go ahead and select H100 and then go ahead and add your SSH key. Mine is already configured, but if you need to add one, just click add SSH key and then put in the public key of your SSH key pair. You can rename the droplet. I'll use Nano Banana and then click create GPU droplet. Once the droplet spins up, we can connect to it in VS Code and then we can get started cloning our repository. Now our droplet has been created and we can get its public IP address. Open up VS Code and click Command Shift P or Control Shift P on Windows, and then go to Connect to SSH Host. We're going to add a new host, enter SSH root at the public IP address of your GPU droplet, and then add dash A for agent forwarding. You can choose an SSH configuration file to save the host to. Saving it in your user SSH configuration makes the most sense. And now that we've added the host, we can connect to it. So go ahead and click remote SSH host, connect to host and configure SSH hosts and select the same file. And we're just gonna go ahead and give our GPU droplet a more friendly name. So I'll change this to nano banana H100 and then save the file. And now when we connect to SSH hosts, we have a name that's easier to understand. So hit enter to connect to the droplet and it will ask if you're sure because you haven't connected to this host yet. So hit continue. And now you are connected to your GPU droplet. Git comes pre-installed on the droplet. So go to the project repository in the description and copy the URL of the repository. Open up a terminal with control backtick and then git clone the repository URL. As I mentioned before, we are interested in the GIF creator project. So uh, I'm gonna CD into that and then open up VS Code in that directory. You'll see this example environment file so go ahead and duplicate that file to be called .env and then open up that file for editing. You'll see a few different environment variables here. And the first thing we're gonna to need to do is get a Gemini API key. You'll need an API key to use Nano Banana, but Google gives you $300 in free credits when you sign up. So you'll have plenty of headroom to test out the model. You will have to enter a payment method to get the credits to prevent fraud, but $300 will be more than enough for what we're doing today. Go to Google AI Studio and then go to Get API Key and Create API Key. If you don't already have a Google Cloud project, it will create one for you called Gemini API Key to associate the key to. So create an API key in the project of your choice. Once it's displayed, copy the API key and then go back to your environment file and paste it in for the Gemini API Key value. Make sure to save the changes, and now we just need to install our dependencies and we can get started creating videos with Nano Banana. We're going to install and use the package manager UV for this project, but there's also a requirements file in the project directory. So if you wanna create a virtual environment in the traditional way, then you can do that too. Since this is a fresh droplet, I'm going to go copy the install command and install UV now. And then I'm gonna run this command to add it to my path. And now if we do UV version, we'll see that we have UV installed. Now we can run UV sync and it will install all the packages we need. And we can see it working really quickly because it's doing all of this in parallel. So now that we've configured our API key and all of our dependencies are installed, we can do UV run gifweb.py and this will start up the program. You can see it's downloading all the models it needs to. And then it gives us this notice that our application is running on port 7860. This application is running on the GPU droplet. So if we follow this local URL, we will not be able to use the application. So what we can do is go back to our environment file 
and we have the share public environment variable here. So go ahead and change this to true. And this will create a public link that anybody can use to access the application. So change that to true and then go back into your terminal and rerun the application. Now we can click the public URL and we can use the application. So you can see down here, there's an image generation model selector. Uh, the default is Gemini, which is also configured in that environment file. Uh, but there's also Flux 1 that you can use for local development. So since you're on a GPU droplet anyway, you can run this model if you want to use it for image generation instead of Nano Banana. We're going to use Nano Banana, so I'm just going to click this preset here and Animated Castle with Clouds and just click Generate GIF. We can go back to VS Code to look at the progress. So you can see here it generates an image with Gemini and then we get this progress bar here and this is using the local image to video model to generate a video from that image. And now MoviePie is transforming that output into a GIF. And we can go back to Gradio and see our final GIF. The outputs are on your server under the outputs directory, and they will be overwritten by the new run. So if you want to save any of this, go ahead and highlight your files, and then click download to save them to your local computer. Here we can see the original image created by Nano Banana, and then we can see the video created by the image to video model. We can try a different prompt and change some of the settings. So we can change the seed, uh, the guidance scale, and the number of inference steps. I'll turn the guidance scale up a little bit and turn the number of inference steps down, and we'll see how this looks. So this is a pretty good output, I think partially because we turned up the guidance scale. So I'm gonna try this again, turning the guidance scale way down. And this is where the creepy stuff kind of starts to come in. So you're gonna have to play around with this and see what works for you. But this is how to generate videos and GIFs from images created by Nano Banana. And if, if we go back to our terminal, we can see that this link will expire in one week. So if you wanna make sure it's permanently available, you can use this bind all interfaces flag and you can read more about that in the readme. You'll basically just need to open up the application port on the droplet firewall. Keep in mind that this will also be accessible to the public. So you'll have to set up a reverse proxy with TLS or use SSH tunneling to access it securely. Let us know in the comments if you want us to make a video showing how to do this and make sure to subscribe for when we drop new videos. And if you wanna learn more about secure networking, stick around for Yash's video on how to build a secure site-to-site -site VPN. Building a hybrid cloud architecture helps with cost reduction and a smooth migration. By the end of this video, we will build a hybrid cloud architecture using two cloud providers. One is DigitalOcean and another is of your choice. For this video, I'll use the AWS. We will deploy a site to 